Hey everyone, this is a review of Ryobi's new P2109 blower. Uh, if you buy it with a one battery kit with a two amp hour battery, it's P2190. So this is a 200 CFM 90 mile per hour blower. That falls right in between the performance specifications of their aging sweeper, uh, which is a 120 mile per hour, 120 CFM uh, output, and their jet fan blower, uh, which is 100 miles per hour and 280 CFM. Uh, the really important thing here is CFM because that's how much air it's moving. You can neck down a nozzle of something that's low CFM and get a high speed output. Um, but as you can see, this has got a little bit bigger nozzle than that little sweeper does, so it's outputting a lot more air than, than the, the sweeper is, even though it's a little bit slower. So let's get into the performance of this, uh, how it works, runtime you're going to get out of it, uh, and what I think about it. So the blower itself ships with two extra nozzles. Uh, this one I put on and I cannot get back off. It's a very snug fit. Uh, and this is just the extra little extension nozzle uh, that goes on the end here and it slides in and clicks into place uh, pretty securely. I haven't had any issues with them coming off. Uh, it's, it's a really simple design. It's basically just a long tube with a fan in it. Uh, the intake's at the back and it comes out the front, obviously. Uh, it's got some nice supports that let it sit flat uh, when you set it down so it's not going to roll away on you. Uh, it does not have a variable speed trigger, it's just a simple on-off switch. It locks on so you don't have to hold it, and you can turn it back off. It's got a longer handle, which is actually, I'm pretty sure, because you can use slim pack batteries with this. And the balance point is right about here, uh, near the front of the handle. And you can use bigger battery packs with it, like the P108 4 amp hour battery. And the balance point is right about midpoint here. I find it's pretty comfortable to hold it uh, at the back of the handle um, and uh, because it kind of gives you a little bit of uh, rotational uh, force from the air that's coming out of it. Uh, so it kind of keeps it centered like that. Uh, if you hold it at the very back uh, for the 6 amp hour and the 9 amp hour batteries, um, it's probably going to be pretty balanced at the very back of the handle. One thing that is missing on this blower, there is no place to hang it up on the back here. I was really hoping for a keyhole slot um, along the back surface somewhere. As it is, you can probably fit a hook um, through the handle and hang this vertically, either through this hole or the handle back here. It's just going to have to be a longer hook and not just a screw um, to get that reach away from the wall uh, if you're you know, holding the tool up against it sideways. One thing to note about no variable speed trigger is this thing's not very good at uh, blowing out corners of like porches or something like that, where you want to feather that trigger and just you know point the nozzle into the corner and kind of get all the debris out of there and then hit full blast so you don't end up you know throwing everything up in the air uh, while you're trying to get into that corner. Uh, you don't get showered with a bunch of debris all over yourself. So it seems lately the more little kits I see that are new, uh, Ryobi is releasing with a 2 amp hour battery, that's the P190, this is a new type of battery. Um, it's the same form factor as their old P102, it's just got 50% more capacity uh, than the P102. These are the ones that used to come standard with the, the cheapest kit options. Uh, and then of course you've got the P108, uh, and hopefully we'll be seeing the um, newer 6 amp hour and 9 amp hour batteries. Uh, pretty soon here, um, but the P108 gives it a little more oomph uh, if you put it in versus the P102. Uh, it draws more power, and you can hear from the pitch in the motor. You can hear the motor running harder uh, when you've got the P108 battery in it. Alright, let's take this thing outside and see how it does on some grass clippings.
let's talk performance. You saw it blowing off my driveway. It did a decent job with that. Um, I, it had rained the day before, and I waited till it was is a little bit drier to mow. Um, and I, I made sure when I walked through the yard, I didn't get any moisture on my shoes. So the, the, the grass was pretty dry. Uh, it wasn't completely dry yet. Um, but this did have some problems with some of the wetter sections of weeds or clover that was on the driveway, especially if I had rolled over it with the wheels of my just walk behind mower, um, it seemed to have trouble getting that stuff off of the concrete, um, which really, I mean, it should be able to get it clear of the concrete. Um, it was also, I had to get it within 12 to 18 inches of some of the denser sections of clippings for it actually to clear them, which is kind of poor performance, I think. Um, so this is, I think it's got mediocre performance. Uh, if you're just going to use it for sweeping off hard surfaces and you're not going to use it on wet leaves or wet grass clippings, it might do a decent job. I just not going to highly recommend it because it's just kind of a meh tool. It does its job. It doesn't really impress me though. So really, if you're looking at this thing for just hard surfaces, if you've got dry grass clippings that you're going to blow off of your driveway or off your deck or your sidewalk, this thing can get it done. Um, I'm just not sure if it's really worth it uh, as far as getting into the Ryobi system. I don't think it's a tool that you say, like, I'm going to go buy that and that's going to be my inaugural tool into Ryobi's 18-volt platform. Uh, I think it might be a, yeah, okay, I need a blower. Um, the JetFan blower is also $80 bare tool or $120 with a 4 amp hour battery. Um, this is still a decent deal uh, at, this is $80 with battery and a 2 amp hour battery and a charger. Um, and it's a, it's a much better deal than the Sweeper, which is also $80 for a battery and charger kit, but it's the smaller uh, 1.3 amp hour battery that comes with the Sweeper, and the Sweeper is not as powerful as this. Uh, so this is a definite upgrade over their uh, 120 mile per hour, uh, 120 CFM sweeper. But really, if you're looking at something, anything other than blowing off a driveway, you're going to want the jet fan blower instead of this one. Alright guys, so let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. And once again, don't forget to subscribe.